Hello, I'm Jin Kun. I'm presenting Robust TED, a robust time series anomic detection framework by decomposition and convolutional neural networks. Why time series anomic detection? Because time series data are everywhere, such as temperature sensors monitoring a cooling system in a data center, or the revenue over the past year of a business. Detecting these anomalies is very essential to the success of the business. Hence, we propose Robust TED, a joint framework of decomposition and the convolutional neural network. Why decomposition? Because the original time series has complex seasonalities and trend, which make it less easy to detect these anomalies. However, after the robust decomposition, we can identify these anomalies from the remainder more easily. Hence, we feed the remainder component after the decomposition to the neural network. Here, we use an encoder-decoder network, which incorporates multi-skill information by the pooling as well as the skip connection. However, applying UNET directly to the remainder won't work well, because it's very hard to train a neural network, especially for time series uh, anomaly detection problem where we have very few samples. Hence, we need to use data augmentation to gener generate more training samples. Here, we propose two augmentation methods, which include the time domain augmentation as well as the frequency domain augmentation. After these two techniques, we can generate a lot of training samples. However, that's not good enough as well, because in the time series anomaly detection problem, we only have very few anomaly samples. Hence, if we use the cross-entry loss directly, we won't able to get the best performance. Here, we propose two adjustments, one called label-based weight. The essential idea is to give the anomaly samples more weights. And we also propose value-based weight. Here, the idea is that the point that is different from its neighbors will contribute more to the training model. Then we conduct the experiments on a public data set. We also use an ablation test starting from a unit on the raw time series, and then we use the remainder on the unit, and then we incorporate the weight adjustment as well as the data augmentation. As we can see, the F1 score increased from 0.4 to 0.69. To further understand the detection performance, we demonstrate the plot of the raw values with detected normally for each method, as well as the plot of anomaly scores. As we can see, the unit with decomposition, with adjustment and augmentation achieves the best performance. Thank you.